So I found this really cool quote that I'll have to read. It is in the nature of music that the notes cannot all be played at once. The order and sequence, the very meaning of the composition will reveal itself with patience in due time. And if you think about it, if you tried to play the whole song in one time, you'd just make a big smash of notes. And that's not a pleasant experience, and it's not an experience at all. It unfolds over time. And when I first heard this quote, I made a note um, myself. And this is what I wrote a while back. This sentence also uh, shows also how God's knowledge is unfolded, including the knowledge that is hidden in the composition of the ages of mankind's history. <clears throat> and when I say God, my definition of God is that which gives and preserves life. And there are a lot of things that come under that umbrella. And um, the Aztecs had a word called teotl, which is basically everything, but every, a juicy everything, like the everything. And that this teotl, this world, was both the revelation um, of God. Well, let's see, how, no, it, well, that too. But it was the mask of God, but it was also the revelation of God. Living in this world masks God but it also reveals God, it's a paradox. And, you know, um, I like thinking about that for its own sake, but also there's, you can think about this in terms of peace, which I always like to cast, connect things to. And, you know, it's important to do a little historical study. It's important to do that. Um, I think about the way that one of the things that I have against violence is that it's boring. It's predictable. It's like we've been doing this, we've been murdering each other and having wars for thousands of years. And we keep thinking that something different's going to come out of it, I guess. Um, it's like we did this already. To me, it's like, don't you want to just stop? Like after a good 5,000 year run of killing each other, wouldn't you like to stop just even on that basis <laughs> even if you didn't have a grand moral commitment to peace aren't you just tired by now to me it's boring it means there's no imagination but you know if you do some studying you can see how beautiful things have unfolded over time too and come forth and we can reach back all the way to ancient wisdom we can see what we've learned over the last few centuries. We can um, be amazed at the new kinds of ideas and virtues that are emerging, or our ability to practice virtues that are probably timeless, but understanding what it truly means to be human and to love each other. We have some great examples in history. I was think one off the top of my head was Andalusia. Um, if you don't know about the the peak period of Andalusia, that might be worth studying. It was, it was a, you know, I'm sure it had problems, but it had it was peaceful and multicultural, and um, it's a good example. You know, you could learn from it. But who who knows about it? They don't teach that in school, right? But I just think about the history of the ages as music, and as I don't think that that there's been the good old days and we've lost them you know I like toilet paper I like uh, women's rights you know so I don't really think that there's a bunch of good old days I also don't think that um, there's more doomsday now than there ever was I mean people all throughout history have done some pretty nasty stuff to each other the hundred years war do you think that they didn't think that was the end of time okay so we have both opportunities before us all the time to get into violence or to get into peace. We always have those opportunities before us and this time is no different than others. It has its, it has its ups, it has its downs. And um, you, we should be clear about what's, 
what's not right and keep uh, keep healing, but we also have a lot to be joyful about and uh, and to um, have hope for peace. So we can make that choice ourselves. But anyway, I was just thinking about how, you know looking back a little bit and looking into history and being grateful for all the people who've gone before us who've lived their lives and brought forth things um, so that we could believe and understand better and it, it maybe couldn't have done, been done all at once. It had to be played like music and we're in another verse. This is another verse of the music and what are our lyrics going to be? What are our harmonies going to be? So just cool to think about. I'll see you.